Welcome back everybody. Tuesday morning, we're back at it. We had a good, a good uh, do at the weekend at the car boot, well they're all right. Uh, this is a Ford Focus, me and Chris picked up last night, after hours, from uh, Blackpool. I can tell you a little story about it in a second. We're gonna nearly strangle Chris. And I'll let you know in a second. I'm just gonna get it unhooked. And I'll let you know the full story. Right. This is a focus, well, we'll give you a quick show around this focus and have a quick look at it. The idea with this one, I found it on Marketplace and the bloke had had it MLT'd or something. Been running it, he just cut out, he said. It hasn't done a belt, but the immobiliser immobilis light is flashing like hell there, I don't know if you can see that. So I've read through up comments on Google and I've spoken to a few lads who've had these cars. Some minutes going flat, charging on top down. But there um, could be an instrument cluster, could be a fuse box problem. But anyway, back to where Chris with last night job. Anyway, after hours job goes to Blackpool. Just coming off the roundabout at the end of the uh, motorway into Blackpool. Looks at Doug and says, Chris, where's my winch remote, pal? Uh, I don't know, I think I've left it in that Renault van, which we bought yesterday, which is there. I'll show you around that again. So he left the winch remote. <laughs> so I've no winch remote. The last time him and Dean had, had lost a winch remote, they used the manual one with the wire. So I dug that out from behind seats, went to plug it in. They've left the lid off the top of the uh, winch, so it's got full of water and corroded, all the pins, so that didn't work. So I they were messing around outside a customer's house in Blackpool. I had to take the cover off the winch. As I do that, it gets a screwdriver out. I thought, I'll just try and... Uh, go across the cell and I surf it out and, and work it that way. Anyway, gets it on, finally starts pulling the car up halfway up, winch cuts out. So it's just going to run a horrible job. Something what should have been five minutes. <laughs> winch cuts out. So it blows the main fuse near the battery. Obviously don't, couldn't do that. So car half on, on and off truck. But as a, luckily the bloke had an, an old Escort van anyway. He puts a tore on it and he winches it on. Well, what winch it? He drags it with tore up and it finally, eventually goes on. <laughs> Gets it well just enough on. Anyway, I'm in Blackpool, flattest place around here. So there's no hills anywhere to get it right onto the bed. And I find somewhere we'll get it on. And then we get back now. And then the truck starts messing around, but we've sorted that now. So I'm going to fix a winch fuse thing now because we have to Salford to pick a Persia up. Dean and Chris have just turned back up now. So that's going to give him some stick. I want to give some Chris some sticky comments. Forgetting. You know what I mean? It's getting worse with it. Absolutely terrible he is. Just, uh, I'll show you around this Renault van as well. Let's plug you back into this top one, see if we can get some charge in it. Anything good at the job, Dean? I hate old people. <laughs> Dean hates old people now. I hate him, you're doing the works for us. He leaves winch remotes. When we, when we get to Blackpool, yeah, people, honestly, you know, we say, you say, oh, you bully him, stop being so harsh on him, try working with him, and give him some stick in the comments. This was the last one we picked up yesterday, it was a, the Renault, the, uh, we're going to have a look see what it needs for a test, but Dean has already had someone interested in it with no MOT, it's been sat for over a year, so he might have sold that straight away. Not a bad van really, set of wheel trims and have a look around it, 1500 diesel. And now, and now we're going to Salford aren't we Dean? Salford Mass. Salford Mass, I'm going to fix that winch in a second, you have to be breaking it Chris. So, yeah, that's about it, a good start for a Tuesday morning. Right everyone, we're over in Salford and we have just picked up the Peugeot. Was it, 308? 308? Oh yeah, knock it up, paperwork's here, yeah. 308, it's what, uh, what they only done one owner, it's only what, got one owner. What they reckon him that's actually wrong with Well, the description has said engine problem. Did you say town belts now, so? I don't know what it might, well, whatever, but... Oh, 
we'll double check it and then if it's uh, worth repairing we'll fix it we'll I try and catch an engine off the boys and no, i don't think you'd have to put an engine in i think but i think with the 1.6 is the if it, if it had snapped about or not run on its oil about the um spin the cam and break the followers so it might be cases to cam and followers in the in top of the engine away you go again oh good so the timing back we're doing timing belt and stuff on it here's the messer look hello the, the winch remote loser my fault in there. At least he admits it. Oh. Made, made, a, made a 10 minute job into two hours. Oh, my fucking baby. I can't get the staff people. So, yeah, we're just on his way back from Salford now. We're going to get back. We'll probably ju jump back on this. I don't know if Luke's told you about the Kango. We've got someone coming to look at it. Uh, yeah, I mentioned it. So, we'll look at it. so try and get the money out of them. See if we can get it sold. I never mentioned about the other cars we bought yesterday, though. All right, yeah. Seen, yeah, we did a job yesterday where, where the Kango come from, and there was an Azuzu trooper and um, a Peugeot partner. And James and John have bought them. They've already picked them up. You might see them on their video, I'm not sure. But we've got a. Um, what is it? A little. I think it's a Diatsu iJet. A Diatsu iJet. Look, like a little, a little minivan thing. Just a scrapper, really. So we need to winch that out of the garden where it is and get it weighed in. We'll probably do that later on today. So it's all busy, we're all busy, that's what we're like here. So, right, let's get home. Right, people, we're back down at the unit. Dean's may align the someone up to buy the Peugeot without us even touching it. So that might be good news. Uh, the Renault Kango van, which I showed you behind Dean's, we brought down to the unit. It's got a slight diesel lock on it, injector, so just tightening them up and we get that solved. But I forgot to tell you yesterday, we had a little bonus surprise in the shed when we bought all the stuff. Uh, as we were searching through, we bought a lot of tools, like we were saying, toolboxes, an old red moped. But this one <coughs> might take you back to your youth, if some of you are watching. What do you to this old girl here? FZ50, with its V5. And Dean's put this on for raffle on the, on the Facebook, and it sold out straight away, so that'll be getting drawn soon. V Ridge. Uh, 78 was it? 79. 79. With the old shit, the old style uh, log book. You just don't see many of them old girls again now, do you? They were, it just got, it slipped on its kickstart, so I had a bit up and down street on that. <laughs> Lots of spring putting back on kickstart, but what a good little uh, survivor that is. Retro that. Oh, original Suzuki key. Got a slight break there. What's it, what was it saying? 856. I can't believe that, can you? Hell, have gone round a few times. It might be 8,500 Maybe, but there she is. So that'll take you back in, in time. <coughs> the old Suzuki FZ50. Let us know in the comments if you've ever had one. Yeah, let, let us know. Give us your old stories about them. But yeah, you don't see many of these anymore. Are so you sure, sure in the set? <laughs> oh, and we also got an absolute rake of CBs. We got about 10 CBs from place. That so we, like we've just been messing around with this one. We've just been trying to see if we can get anyone online with it. But they all work, but we're just trying to, we're trying to get anyone on. Let's have a go. Any, anyone there, one nine, a rig check. <laughs> so yeah, we're just trying them. We've got loads of them. So if anyone's interested in CBs, give the, leave it comments, ask Dean, and they'll all be for sale, so. Depending which ones we are, I'll show you now. That's a Moonraker. Cobra, I'll take you over here. There's one of them old retro games as well. Oh yeah, it's another bonus here, I'll show you. What Dean, Dean managed to find. I'll just show you CVs first. There's all sorts of kind of CVs in here. So, some people might know what they're looking at. We, we just know normal, normal CVs, but there, there's loads in there. Get in touch with Dean. They can be posted out here. You have to pay cost at postage, but we, we can do it. We can we'll parcel them up. One at eighteen's basis car. Yeah. Radio control car, which is original a... car, isn't it? Look at that. Boxed. Boxed. It's box. These are somewhat Dean got from this worked from that job, this from another oh, job, weren't these? Yeah. These are all for sale as well, Tammy here and stuff like that. Airfix models. Yeah. There's an airplane in there. Old brand new, but they're worth one's worth hundred quid on its own. There's an old Tammy under there. An old Tammy and more control car under there. You see that one? And then in here, we've got, if you remember these, let us know about these, Commodore 64. An absolute break of old games wrestled in here. Old Cobra in there, 
Old Corgan. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. There's a box full in my office. I'll we'll have a quick look. Ghostbusters. Turtles. Into television. Let us know if you remember these. Like I say, these will will these be going on as car boot or, or yeah, do a bit of yeah. homework on them or whatever? They do sell. They're all there though. People might check collect these. Ghostbusters. Castle Masters. There's all sorts. Let us know if you remember them. Retro bits of retro jackets. There's all sorts. Have a quick look over here. In Dean's office, it's dark in here, so I'll just uh, just drag some of these out. I'll just place you here a second. Right, let's have a look at these. What have we got here then? Paper Boy, I remember that one. Oh, it's thumbs in there. Pole position. Comic cosmic bounce. Tracksuit manager. Rambo. Elite Speaking thing. Of Rambo. <laughs> Rambo's here now. <laughs> Tambo. Think Rambo. Rambo. What, Sambo. What's that? Elite things what make a billy goat puke. Look at all these. Strong man. These will probably be on his car boot. Hopefully the weather will be good again, Dean. We might be able to get on the end of Sunday at Winfield. We're collecting these kind of games. Are we taking these with us, Dean? Uh, we'll go through we'll we'll Yeah, we'll have to have a good search because we might go on with a hidden gem. But there's all sorts of them. You let me know what, what you think of these. Look at that kickstart. I remember the actual program kickstart. With Dougie Lampkin on. Ah, it's loads. But what sickened us most, they said to us, We've thrown and skipped an absolute load of these. They said a load of random stuff before we got there. So me and Dean were a bit sick about that. But it is what it is. Skip firms will get some good touches every now and again. Well, we paid decent money for it to the lady. So that was main job. A few old Riley pool cues as well. Some in a bag and stuff. Keyboards, they come from the same place. Uh, what else is there? Well, we're on the subject. Comic books. From 75, 76. There's all in there. There's absolutely tons just to flip through. Some good artwork. But yeah, these are uh, fixed models. There's all sorts. Airbrush kit as well. A little welder. That could, they, still, they all come from a different job, that. The postcards. Postcards. Manchester and stuff. Yeah, mainly Manchester, yeah. South of Manchester. Oh, oh, some more yeah. Let's see them ones. Avengers. 1975, that. Big bag of brass, scrap. Yeah, yeah, can't beat a bit of scrap. An old 1954 brass shell. Some old singles. Roadrunner. Glass little uh, mirror. That's a quite a bit of man cave about him. It's quite smart, that. Look at Dean's, uh, that lizard licked toy with that on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Morris Minor steering wheel and wrap. There's all sorts. Yeah, but you never know, you are going to come across goodies every now and again. And there's just bits of stuff in the back of that Clio van. Dean's manual. Uno, you don't see many of them. They did rot away. Yeah. Mate of mine had an Uno IE Turbo, that was a good little car. Minute 19, Cortina. Citroen oh. CX, Lada, Ford Sierra, and a scrap battery. So, yeah, that's all come from that house. Quite a good little find, but like I said, we miss, probably miss loads of most of the goodies out of it, but it is what it is. All right, Chris is just unloading this. How are you doing, Chris? I'm all right. Have Fantastic. Have you helped to say? Have you helped to say, mate? Is everybody good like me today? That's the one. Oh, like I say, we also mentioned earlier the Bedford Rascal van. Well, it's not, it's an I, the actual IJ, very similar. So that'll uh, be getting picked up shortly. We'll try and get that on video. There's a Michelin man there, someone's put a plant pot on his head. 
Oh, did I? You are gonna get <laughs> you are gonna get stick in the comments, boy. Silent generator. Bits of hand tools, just all car boot kind of stuff. These actually some snap on in there as well. So tons of washers and things. Little Piaggio zip. Oh, he might even run. But yeah, that's the one. Dean's getting a phone call now, I think, for another motor, so we'll go and have a look, see what it is. Right, uh, just had a phone call to go and look at an old Honda CBR 1000F Sport or something, on an F Reg. Which will that be 89 or something, 88 or something. Over in the local town next to us, so we'll uh, go over there now and have a look. Yeah, it said they took the swinging arm off it, so it might be cheap, I don't know, but we'll go and have a look at Chris. Oh, yes. See if we can get a bit of filming done. Let's go. Everyone, it's Wednesday afternoon. Um, we bought the CBR yesterday, we're going to go and pick that up later on. We've just been to pick up the Daihatsu iJet, as you can see on the back, it's just a scrapper. We're going to take that to the local scrapyard in the paddy We've got a bit of non ferris and stuff we need to... Uh, get weighed in and all that so it's a real it's yeah it's stacking we put film on there we didn't want us filming so we had there's a bit of a washing machine and some scrapping at the back of it as well and inside is actually brim with scrap and a bit of non-ferris so we'll see what we can get for it down at the local scrapyard so see you down there well we're back at the unit the Diazzo IJ has had a second chance we haven't weighed it in we've Took all the parts out of it, weighed all the scrap what were in it in. That's all gone, a bit of non ferrous Dean's done all that, got rid of it. We've kept a few doors and good panels out there. So if anyone's interested in doors and panels, well, doors, two doors and two sliding doors for an eye jet. You might not, they're all there in dark blue. They're quite solid, not rotten. So we've kept them to one side, they'll sell on. There's a few bits of stuff come out of it, but car boot items. A few little bits down there. Anyway, as I was saying, he's going to repurpose this van now. He's going to give it a very good clean off. We know it looks a bit far gone, but it's actually not so bad. Um, but he's not going to be running it anyway, so it's never going to have to go for a test again. He's quite good with his artwork. And Sean, the, my man here, is going to repurpose this van and give it a second chance. And hopefully it might be an A-team, Scooby-Doo van, we don't know yet. No, no, but yeah. we reckon it's going to be a good thing for your, uh, for your calf, don't you, for the kids? Yeah, I'm over a calf shop. I think it's good somewhere, I think. You don't see him a lot. No. So I figure, let's get it off, let's get it done, cleaned up, see what we can do with it. We don't do it something straight away, I'll do something in time with it, but I it's want... a nice piece of kit in it. You like it's it, cute don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see Sean's artwork on that and he's good you at what he does, so that, yeah. he can see something really good in there. But like I say, if not, like I say, kiddies can climb on it. There's going to be no sharp edges in it, it's going to be stripped out as it should be, it'd be nice. Couldn't do a small little coffee van to go with what I'm doing in, in there, a little food van outside here, a little piece of, a little piece of van, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be all sorts of this. Like suggestions to, when people get in the yeah, shop, yeah, leave it. I'm going to suggestion box. Yeah, and leave some in comments what you think Sean should do in the in the uh, calf there. See if it be fit kids or should it be convert it something to do with coffees or whatever. And don't anybody say scrap. Yeah, <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting a second chance. Me and Dean to just scrap everything, but it's getting a second yeah. chance. Is that? But I will give you a good look around Sean's place when he's somewhere near. It's up at air at minute. He's got a few weeks to opening, and I like say he's mad busy, and we keep hiding him with random stuff. But anyway, we'll end this video here. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, ring the little bell if you want the notifications of his videos coming on. And hopefully I'll get this one, get Dean to upload this one, give him something to do tonight. And that's it. We'll see you on the next one.